Hi everyone, this is Ray with the channel Love Water Healing and I'm here to do a reading for all of my Virgos for the month of April. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. We'll be using the Flower of Life cards, the Guardian Angel tarot cards, and the True Love tarot cards. <clears throat> okay, so this is what it has for you, Virgo. First, we'll have the Flower of Life card, which will give you an overall theme of what the month has in store for you. Then we'll be asking the Guardian Angels and your guides to give us um, some more information uh, surrounding this theme that comes out or just general information that you need to know and then we're going to be wrapping it up with a little bit of love okay Virgo um, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that you're able to this is the last card that just came up let's shuffle these cards um, the subscribe button down below so that you're always given the notification or that little bell right that there's a new video that gets posted uh, thumbs up would be great also on this video so that we can get it pushed out to more of the soul collective although a lot of you have been seeing it so that's really positive so we're pushing out this love for everybody okay so you have a card it's called wheel of life the wheel of life is constantly moving Embrace the change and allow your fun, playful self to discover the adventurer of life. Combine your personal wisdom together with your intuition to create a magical result and feel it flow through your body, mind, and soul. Feel your questions as life as creative excitement and expansion of you and all. This energy and wonderment of life unlocks the door into your divine love, power, and wisdom. Push the door open and behold the light of your essence shining brightly from your inner star. Step through the door and emerge as a conscious, multi-dimensional light being, fully awakened, ready to serve on this planet, and inspiring others to unlock their star. Ask the universe to show you something in the next 24 hours that you have not seen before. Well, that's quite a challenge. There you go, Virgo. That's an awesome, amazing card. Wheel of Life is constantly moving, so it's your time to embrace change and allow your fun, playful self to discover the adventure of life. If that couldn't be more direct and more of a beautiful theme for you this month, Virgo, I don't know what could. Okay, Guardian Angels, what do we got for Virgo for April? I feel like when I sing to the Guardian Angels, they're, they give me cards more often um, so they know that I'm here and I'm being present and purposeful in this moment for you Virgo there's any other cards nope okay that's all we got <clears throat> so the first card that came out for you is called the ten of action um, it says, you're working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life. Be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. Virgo, Virgo, you should be taking care of yourself. Um, stop straining to make other people happy and realize that your health is your wealth. And if you're not here, then what will everyone else do? Take care of yourself this month. Um, it'll be the time to start maybe changing some habits. Seven of Abundance um, says to have patience. So in this wheel of life that's constantly moving, while you embrace the change and allow for fun, um, this card says, don't worry. Um, all your dreams are slowly coming into reality. This is the time for you to rest and relax as you plan um, for your bountiful harvest. So you can see that they're picking little bits of leaves here off in the garden, but they're also planting um, as they move along. So they're waiting and having patience. And the last card you got is called Eight of Emotion. It says you feel a very deep longing for something meaningful in your life. So this is what the Wheel of Life came out for. So in your heart, you know that there's more out there for you, um, waiting for you in the world, Virgo. So it's time for you to switch careers, maybe move into a new home, a new city, you know, maybe across the world. Um, initiate some other important changes in your life, maybe that you've been waiting to, to really start working towards. Um, and seek out your magical new life, right? Virgo, this is what it's going to be about. <clears throat> I mean, this couldn't be more perfect. The first uh, tarot 
the love tarot cards, the one that pops out for you is called Visionary. So there you go. Start following your visions to push yourself forward in the right direction. Um, you want something meaningful in your life? There you go. You've got it, Virgo. It's coming to uh, fruition for you right here and right now. So again, let's go back to the theme um, of the Wheel of Life. Realizing you're embracing all these changes um, and you're allowing for fun, right? To be childlike in your existence. Make sure that in the next 24 hours, you also ask the universe to show you something that you've never seen before. And this will just help you to manifest and realize that, um, you know, there's other light beings that are out there watching out for you. So not only is it important for you to be a visionary, this visionary will help in a transformation or change that's coming about. Um, I'm not sure so much. It might be the middle of the month. I'm feeling like possibly in April that you're going to see this, um, this death card, the change that comes and starts transforming maybe the vision that you, you know, have always wanted, right? So you have had a deep longing for something meaningful in your life that you have the full vision of how it could work for you. And now it's time to start the transformation in that direction. Make sure this has come up for a lot of people, but make sure you remain private, right? You come up with these great new ideas and you are a visionary and you're starting to transform yourself. Um, you know, keep it to yourself, you know. I would say for right now, because your visions are your dreams and you don't want anyone discouraging you on your path. Um, we have the Princess of Shells, which talks about romance. So this can also be about you like romancing yourself as you go through this vision. This could be about someone being romantic in your life, but I feel like this is more about you now, Virgo, and the huge transformation that you're going to be going through. Um, and in this situation, remain um, independent of needing the time and space for others to approve of what's going on in your life. This is your life. This is your wheel of life. And it is your opportunity to show everyone that you can do this all by yourself. The change and everything that you've been desiring, you know what's out there, you've been waiting for it. Um, it's time for you to switch and really start making a move and follow what this card is talking about. Have fun. Realize that you're an extremely creative, expansive uh, person and that your divine love and power and wisdom is shining through at this time. You're fully awake to what the universe has for you so make sure you ask it right the real important question to show you something you've never seen before in the next 24 hours and start embracing um, the magic right that you feel as a result and that's what I've got for you make sure you check your Sun moon and rising sign to get a full picture of what the month has in store for you I really appreciate you being here as always, love your water and love yourself. And I will see you on the next video. I love you.